How to lead your team. Do you lead people or simply manage them? If you're running a team, there are some simple fundamentals that can help you lead them effectively. It starts with having a clear vision of what you wish the team to achieve. The best way to do this is to involve the team. What vision makes sense for the team, bearing in mind how the team fits into the overall company? This vision is what the team should strive for. There should be constant reminders of this in emails, on posters, at team meetings and at regular one-on-ones. A vision needs to be supported with objectives or goals. In any business, you'll probably have had your goals set for you to some degree. However, you still have the flexibility to create your own goals. If you run your own business, setting clear goals is key to giving the staff direction. They need to know why they're coming to work beyond just collecting their pay. We suggest having three, four or five key goals and make sure you can track performance against each one. So now you have goals, that's the easy bit. But what's the plan for achieving those goals? Again, this is where you can brainstorm with the team. Remember that the plan should be something that the team can influence on a weekly basis as part of their role. The plan should cover why a task is important, who's responsible for doing it, what needs to be done and when, how much, and the expected outcome. If you can't answer each criteria, then it's time to go back to the drawing board. You now have a vision, a set of goals, and action plans for each goal. Now you have to make it happen, and this is where the effort is really needed. First, have a weekly meeting cycle where you discuss the performance of the team and what they need to do in the coming week to support their action plans. This focuses attention on the team's performance. Second, have weekly one-on-ones with each team member. This focuses attention on the individual's performance. In both cases, make reference to the vision and the goals and most importantly, talk about actual performance against plan. Are you on track? ahead of or behind plan. Thirdly, it's essential to have a strong coaching culture where you constantly work with each person in the team to improve their performance. Finally, revisit the vision and the goals of the business every quarter. If possible, do it outside the office with the team. Take a step back to consider how the team members are really working together. Anyone can tell people what to do, that's simply managing them. Leading people, however, takes patience and discipline, using the structure we've suggested and being able to provide effective feedback. So if you have the privilege of leading a team of people to produce challenging results, use this framework to create an environment in which they'll do their very best to deliver.